Hi everyone and welcome back to my <laughs> heavenly babies. Today is my Munchkin Mondays and the little Munchkin I'm sharing today is my beautiful albino baby girl powder. I did all of her art if you are new to my channel. I completely painted this baby to look like a little albino baby. Um, I got her unpainted and like I said I did all her work and all of her detailing so her little scratches she's got a little scratch on her cheek in here I did all of that on purpose she's got a like a little uh, burn or a little mark on her hand a uh, little marks here and there throughout her all of the blue undertones and all of that the uh, pink undertones and then just really white uh, to give her that appearance of an albino baby and we just love this little girl so much she turned out so beautiful um, I will get up close to the camera and show you her detail. If you are new, I'll show you all her detail. But I did all of her work, and I am going to give her hair, too. I do have the white hair that I ordered. I have it here, so I will be rooting this baby. But I'm debating now if I want to draw the hair on this baby because I'm starting to like the drawing better. Then you don't have to ruin the silicone, you know, poking all those little holes in it when you're rooting. So I, even the combo is even better. So if I can draw it on in the white, which I do have the white to do it, um... I'm going to try that. I might draw her hair on. Uh, just I think it would still look just absolutely stunning and beautiful, but it might be cute having the fuzzy um, hair rooted in. So I'm just deciding what to do. I might even do combo. So some drawing and some um, rooted hair. But we'll decide when we get to that point. I have a lot of babies that need painting and rooting and hair drawing and all of that. But I'm also running a business and trying to also, you know, paint and sell babies too. And I will have a baby up. Well, no, I would have already had it up for sale. Never mind. I'm ahead of myself here, you guys. Never mind. Scratch that out. All right, so before we get on and change this beautiful little girl in a new outfit, we're going to read from our powerful prayers for every need. Today we are on integrity. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Proverbs 27. Heavenly Father, I pray today for my pastor. He is a man of great integrity, and because of this, the enemy has targeted him. I pray that you would guard his life and rescue him. May his integrity and uprighteousness protect him because his hope in you, because of his hope in you. Amen. Psalms 25, 20 through 21. And that's a great thing to pray for you guys, for your pastor, because the devil's going to attack definitely on your pastors. Father, I have always thought of myself as a person of integrity, and I have worked to do the right thing. But lately I have felt you dealing with my heart, showing me that I'm not nearly as righteous as I imagine. I don't turn my back on what is right, but many times I choose a crooked path. You have found me out, Lord. Show me how to mend my way, my ways. Amen. Proverbs 10, 9. Great, great uh, verse there. And that is the wisdom chapter. And, you know, we can do the best that we can, but we do stray, you guys. We do stray. Get on that crooked path, and we need God to help us to get back on that straight path. Lord in heaven, in Proverbs 11, 3, your word says that the integrity of the upright guides them. I realize that sometimes I pray for guidance when the answer is just to do the right thing. Thank you for, thank you for placing in me a conscience to show me the way. Amen. And I do thank God for that, to show me the conscience in me, uh, just to be, you know, a good person. Um, like it says, um, you know, pray, you know, that, that we pray for guidance when the answer is just to do the right thing. Always remember to do the right thing. Think before you speak. Um, be slow to anger, slow to speak, and different things like that. And just, I mean, we are grownups. We do know right from wrong. So just kind of think before you speak and um, or before you do something, always praying and asking God. Lord above, help me walk in truth and integrity by reinforcing my conscience. Amen. So if you have a conscience, and all of us do, we should. Um we definitely need to, uh, you know, seek out God and ask him to help us, um, you know, to do the best in our life. Do what's right. Share the word with everybody. Be a Christian. Be a true Christian. And, you know, show that. Let your light, light shine through. Let people see that through you so that you can bring other people to the Lord through your guiding and all of that. But telling everybody that let every man, let every woman be a liar. Let this be the truth. So share the word with them. That's what you want to do. Share the word. Um, and I always say, start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. I'll read it from front to cover, getting a great personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. You guys, this is how we're supposed to live. So you can say and do anything you want. I like to do analogies, but I'm doing analogy on what I'm reading, and everybody's going to feel something different. But get your, your, your facts from here, not what somebody says to you. 
So if somebody's reading it from the word, you can take that to the bank. You can definitely take that to the bank. So read your Bible, guys. It's important. That is life's true manual. All right, you guys. I hope you like those verses on integrity. And just, you know, definitely know, you know, have that conscience in you. Be smart. Read the word. And I'm not pushing this on anybody. And if you're a person that doesn't want to hear the word, you are welcome to just, you know, skip through the video and go right on to when I start dealing with the babies. But I hope that you would stay along and listen to the word. I hope I can help others. But they help me, and I hope I can save a soul. All right, you guys. And I'm always putting God first. So he's first above everything, above all my babies, above, you know, my housework, eating, everything. God's above all of it. God is number one in my life. Do I make mistakes? I'm human. Of course I do. Uh, but I try to live the best that I can. And I'm striving each and every day to be closer to God. All right, let's change this beautiful little girl. She's sleeping. She ate a big old little meal there. She got her formula. And I put a little bit of cereal in there for her. So she's full. Yeah, she got a full, full tummy. And she's sucking on her nook. She's a nook baby, 100% nook baby. If you see, she's always got that big mouth wide open. And I'm going to show you when I get her clothes off, her beautiful face and mouth and all that. I'll take the nook out. So we're going to get her out of this little um, outfit she was wearing. It's been a while since I shared her, a couple weeks. So I thought it's time for a little powder to come on again. And I love her name, Powder. Fits her perfectly, right? Fits her name perfectly. We'll pull up a little nook. Hopefully we won't wake this little girl. All right, so I'm going to come up to the camera. And I'm going to show you for the new people, because I got new people every day. So here she is. Look at the little scratches I did. Look at that open mouth. It's like, feed me. Yum, yum. Give me my nook. Uh, but I purposely did those scratches. Look at those beautiful scratches on her. Well, not beautiful. Poor little girl scratched herself. But they look so realistic and so good. And then you see the head where I have all the undertones, the blues, and, you know, the really light color of the top. But I got all those undertones, um, giving her that uh, look of an albino color to her mouth. And inside the mouth, she's got that open mouth and a tongue in there. Or it looks like a tongue. Yeah. She does have a tongue in there. And then, of course, around her eyes and all that. And then as I go up, you see the beautiful veining throughout her stomach and that beautiful uh, leftover umbilical cord, what's left behind. Look at how gorgeous that is that I did. I'm getting really good with those. Um, but, yeah, I did the umbilical cord since she's a preemie baby. And then all the art on her hands. There's another one of the little marks on her arm there. That is, and on her hand, that is to look like little burns, you know, because they are sensitive to the sun. And then you see I did her nail beds and her hands, all the art in there. And then the other hand here, did that hand and all the art in there and the bluing inside of there. Oops. And then, I know, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I woke her up. And then all the bluing and veining going down that, that uh, leg and foot on the bottom, all that bluing there. And she's so soft. I sealed it with silicone velvet in her toes there. And then the other leg and the blushing. I did all her blushing, too. There's the other foot and the toes. She curls her toes. Look at all the creases. I love the creases. And then I'll show you the back of her. You see the bluing on the back there. You see the back of her elbows, the blushing like that. But yeah, look at all that on the back of her head. Just absolutely gorgeous with all that blue undertone. That's what gave her the beautiful look of an albino baby girl. And we love her. My husband's so in love with this baby. And so am I. And he said, her poor little scratches. <laughs> But yeah, she is a beaut. I did pierce her ears. So yeah, she is so pretty. And she is a preemie sized baby. I think she's 17 inches, I believe, and weighs, um, I don't remember I did an unboxing on her. I will link that down in the comment section for you guys. Go watch it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll link it, but I'm also, so you can see the unboxing of her. I'm going to put it up on the screen here, what she weighs and all that. That's all I do, just look back at that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. But yes, so she's, I think she was like five pounds and something. She is a preemie size baby. So she wears preemie diapers and all that. And because she's so soft, I don't have to do any powdering with her since I sealed her with silicone velvet. She wears preemie diapers. And oh, look at that crease inside there, guys. If you can see that, I hope you can see that crease in there. That is so beautiful. Close your little legs, little girl. Got to keep those close and nobody see those little girl parts. Yeah, we don't want nobody to see that. No, no, no. We keep that a secret around here, huh? Yeah, we keep that secretive. We keep that just for us. Yeah, we don't let nobody see that. We just get it covered up right away. But yeah, she's preemie diapers. Let me show you real quick. I probably showed you in the camera already. You probably already did see it. But that's what I'm talking about, that beautiful crease there. Look at that. Just so 
such an indent there. Such a great crease to paint. So yeah, I love that. Oh, this baby's so, so pretty. I love her curled toes. Love the curled toes. These are Carter's and um, the, the outfit. The outfit is a Carter's. I'm saying these are Carter's. The outfit is a Carter's. So um, I also have a little pair of white pants I like with this too, but this is what goes with it. This is the outfit, the full outfit. A nice creamy outfit for her. I think it is creamy. Yep, this is a premature, so perfect size for her. And I didn't even show you the outfit, silly me. This is a nice little red top, um, flares out like a little, uh, it's a little blouse that just flares out almost like a dress. And it's got the little ruffles at the top, a little red bow on it at the top, and it's got ladybugs on it. Um, really cute. And then it's got, it, the ladybugs are not black, they're navy blue. And then um, the top, uh, like I said, ruffles. So it's got the ruffle at the top. What is going on here? Wait, we got to figure out. Oh, there. Um, it's got the little ruffles at the top. It is short sleeve. And it's the top and the little bloomers, little white bloomers for underneath it. And um, just adorable, you know, with the little ladybugs on it for my little ladybug here. Yeah, she's my little ladybug. Yeah. And then I was just doing this nook. It's... um. A hundred one Dalmatian, the red, and the you know it's got the the colors of the outfit, so I thought I would do that, and then a little white bow. We do like to have bows on our princess here, especially with the baldy. We like to have little bows on her because she's a baldy baby right now, but she will have, um, you know, hair soon, uh, whether it be drawn on or rooted on her. So let me get the ky. give her back her nook because this oh need a little bit of mouth she does have a great nice open mouth but still I to let it slide in just easier I like to do the KY in the mouth too just so this slides in a little easier but she doesn't have like a she does have a pretty deep mouth she can pretty much take all nooks um but yeah just some of them don't go all the way back so that's why I just like to have it so it just slides in easier for her but there she is oh so pretty yeah, she looks pretty even in that. I like her in pink because of her pink undertones. She looks pretty, you know, really pretty in light colors. But as you see, I got her now in a darker color. And she looks just as beautiful. Yes, you look just as beautiful, little powder. Such a gorgeous baby girl. Yes. Well, we are going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed those verses on integrity. And uh, make sure to follow the Bible. Follow God. Honor Him. Reading His Word. And um, I hope everybody is staying safe, happy, and healthy as always. Thank you guys for, you know, your prayers. Um, when you see this video, uh, the one you see tomorrow for Baby Talk Tuesday, I would be, you know, had my surgery done that day. It's at 7.30 in the morning on the 30th. Uh, I pre-record all these videos. So today is only the uh, 25th today. Um, Thursday, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday the 25th today. And I'll be having the surgery on Tuesday the 30th. So um, this video you're going to get, you won't get till Monday the 29th. That's actually my son's birthday. He will be 25 years old that day. So how exciting. Yay. Happy birthday, Dylan. We'll say it right now because, yeah, when you guys see this video, it will be his birthday. Then the following day when you see the Baby Talk Tuesday video, and I'm not sure who I'm doing a video on that yet, um, but it will be ready for you guys because I'm doing all these pre-recorded. Um, that will be the day of the surgery. And if I can come in and do a small little just just a few words to you guys just saying surgery's done and you know maybe just put it up you know in words across uh put it up for you guys i will do that i know people are asking if i would you know possibly at least tell people on my youtube channel if i can't do it i'll have my husband do it but i know that they said that i will be on my feet even the first day um so while, while i'm sitting down i will write something in just jot down and do a little edit video quick of just telling you guys how the surgery went and how everything went just so you guys know I thank you for the prayers in advance. Please pray and please, please definitely pray that day for peace for me. And yeah. All right. We're going to get going, you guys. And little powder is going to blow you a kiss. Mwah. Say love you guys. Love all my auntie, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas. All right. Everybody take care. God bless.